They're already started. Welcome, everyone, to the 15th Annual Celebrity Spelling Bee. I am Jolene Rennati, and I have the honor and privilege of being the Executive Director for Read to Succeed. I would like to thank everyone for watching at home virtually tonight. Um, I hope you're in your PJs and ready for a good old-fashioned spelling bee. This helps us, our one and only fundraiser, this helps us raise funds so we continue our literacy mission. We want to spend the time throughout the year on programming, so that's why we only have one fundraiser. And it's a doozy, isn't it, spellers? <laughs> Tonight wouldn't even be possible without your support, the bravery of our wonderful Celebrity B spellers, our pronouncer, our judges, and our generous sponsors, donors, and volunteers. A huge thank you to the staff for all the work they do, especially Anthony. He has done such a great job. But I would like to thank our staff, Anthony Saluzniak, Katie Cundy, Carolyn Kabiski, and Erica Overstreet. We are a small but mighty staff, and they have done a wonderful job spreading the literacy love in our community uh, throughout the year, even during COVID. So that's something to say. I would like to thank my family and the families of our staff uh, because in the nonprofit world, it takes a village and many varying hours, odd hours, to get it done, and it takes us away from our families. So thank you for being so understanding most of the time. Just kidding. I would also like to recognize our board members and thank them for all of their support throughout the year. And I would like to thank Kyle with uh, Now Tech Productions for getting this all going. Tasty Table for our wonderful, wonderful box cutery because we had to give sustenance to the spellers so they wouldn't pass out on stage from nervousness. And uh, Simply Pure Sweets for the sweets that have kept us going and will make us hyper. So thank you all for all your help. Earlier this month, Paul Vaughn passed away. Paul was the catalyst that brought Read to Succeed to fruition. We are grateful for his heart, for his community, and for literacy, because Read to Succeed wouldn't have happened. He actually catapulted it through Jennings and Rebecca Jones Foundation. They funded it to get it started, and has ever since 2003. Our, our, our mission is to improve lives in Rutherford County through literacy with programs and uh, events for adults and children. We've been doing this since 2003. We train volunteers on how to tutor adults 18 and over one-on-one -on -one, so they can get their high set, which is formerly a GED. We train folks to be teachers, tutors for ESL classes for our, our folks that are new to our community so they can communicate, obtain sustainable employment, citizenship, and be able to speak with their children because you don't know it. A lot of their children do not speak their original native language. So it's hard to communicate at home. With family literacy, we start with three-year-olds on Imagination Station, and this is monthly. We have family literacy nights at the elementary schools. And we do this in partnership with MTSU Lipscomb and Treveca, where we um, provide literacy activities and model for the parents the best way to promote literacy at home. We also have a thing that I love that we started a few years ago called Ad Lit Book Clubs, Adolescent Book Clubs. They are with middle and high schools, as well as kid lit in elementary schools. Uh, we currently provide and attend Adlet Book Clubs at 10 high school and middle schools in Rutherford County. The community book clubs are making a difference in the middle school and high school students' lives, where it's basically a book desert because they don't get the um, reading in the school's day or the cat in the hat, and so they really have a lot of required reading, so they don't want to read further, but that is changing, and I'm so excited. These books are being discussed and passed beyond the clubs. They are contemporary young adult fiction and they're culturally relevant 
themes and characters that students today can find relatable because Anne of Green Gables is not going to cut it for a high school senior boy. The books help them relate to their own experiences. The book club discussions are led by the students and the outcomes are powerful. Schools want students to have critical thinking and these book clubs promote this. So tonight we gather virtually, well some of us anyway, to see an honest to goodness old fashioned spelling bee. But we are celebrating those who are working hard to learn how to read, write, and speak through written word. We have had learners achieve uh, promotions due to their increased literacy through our program. We have kids reading books that help them understand more of what they're going through. And with the help of the volunteers and community partners, we are changing their lives. Give that gift of literacy tonight. The gift of freedom. It's true. If you don't read, you don't have freedom because you have to rely on someone else all the time to tell you what it says. And how do you know you're getting the full story? You know, what if there isn't someone there to read it to you? And, and technology is making it harder. There are prompts for you to do things and if you can't read. So reading is everywhere you go. Imagine when you get up in the morning, almost everything you do requires reading. We want to give those in Rutherford County their freedom through literacy because literacy matters. So I know you want to, me to go further. I do want to say a few things. Right now, we have a goal of 55000 We are $639 away from that. Find our website, www.readtosucceed.org. Hit Celebrity B, and you can go ahead and donate from there. You can also um, send us a check. You know, I love going to the post office and opening the mail when there's a check in it uh, because this does help us continue our mission. I did also want to tell you that this past three months, we have given away 4,801 books to children, 63 volunteers. We have 10 pairs, and we have a waiting list because we're waiting for more tutors. 436 children have attended the last three um, family literacy nights, and we have been working with 453 adults or they have attended family literacy nights with their, their um, parents so, um, or with their children. So we are getting it done because of our volunteers, because of our community partners, and this money helps us continue it. So I, I just want you to thank, if you have that extra Starbucks cash, Go ahead and just send it in to us. We'd appreciate it. A lot of people can't wait. Every year at the B, we announce the One Book, One Community Read. So our committee reads a lot of books. They spend a lot of time via Zoom, since most of them are librarians, so they have to work hard at school. But we came up with something that I think everyone is going to like because it does make a difference. So the 2021 One Book is the Pulitzer Prize winning book by Colton Whitehead. It's called Nickel Boys. I really enjoyed reading this thought-provoking book. MTSU had approached us and wanted us to see if we could possibly have one book the same as the upcoming freshman read we decided to do a fictional pairing instead to their nonfiction book. So next year, the Nickel Boys will be out at our book crossing, so look for them in January. It is a very thought-provoking book. Okay. So here is a little something from one of our learners. His name is Jojo Collier. He has been a learner started with Greenhouse and then progressed on with us, Jojo Collier and his tutor, Melissa Roberge, to tell you a little bit about what they do and why he wanted to learn to read. My parents don't know how, don't know how to read, neither do my brother. Don't, I just wanna learn how to spell my own mm -hmm. and go 
go to like grocery stores, buy stuff like um, weed signs, stuff like that. I've been volunteering with Reach to Succeed probably about nine, eight, nine or ten years, maybe ten years. And um, I moved uh, to Murfreesboro. I retired, moved to Murfreesboro, and just starting out in a new community, meeting people, and um, doing something that I enjoyed doing. Talked to, to Mr. Cliff, and he helped me find a tutor. So he made me uh, practice my words, spelling stuff, and he said he's gonna find me a tutor. So we we just figured out this morning yeah. it's mm -hmm. been almost two years <laughs> that we've been together. <laughs> It, it's just been a it's been a joy working with him because he's so motivated and so determined to learn that I just sit back and let him do his thing. <laughs> That's one of my books I read like a year. So I read about the last year I found like I like uh, write down what book title's name of it, and I like every four weeks, or I, I like play up. Um, I have to find the name of the books and and a reading. So it be short books, long books. I like it. Pandemic. Um was a hurdle to get over and we kind of floundered with how do we go about being together and having a session without being able to be together. Jojo had taken a computer class at Greenhouse, so he brought in Google Docs for mm -hmm. us. And little by little, we went on to Skype and we we worked it out very well where we do the Stipe sessions. We succeeded, we yeah, did it. Yeah, and we did it. Uh -huh. We did it, and if it wasn't for JoJo and learning about Hoopla and learning about the Google Docs and trying out Skype, it uh, wouldn't have happened, but it did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Learning to read it, it as an adult is, is hard. Um, and, but step by step, little by little, it, it can happen, right? Yes, yeah. <laughs> um, It opens the door to so many things like- Is this, you wanna do it, do something. Just, you, you, you just do it, you wanna do something. I'm so glad that Jojo and Cliff Sharp and got Jojo to us and he found Melissa. It is making a difference. He reads more books than the average person and when he first started he couldn't read at all and his, his siblings couldn't read. So it is powerful and you have to be brave because most folks that are struggling with literacy, they have, they have maneuvered through life, they've raised children and they, they can't read. That's pretty amazing. But it takes bravery and it's hard work, but we want folks to come here. We want to be able to help them so they're excited to read the books like JoJo. And we're so appreciative of tutors like our wonderful Melissa. So always let us know if you know someone struggling with literacy or if you have a, a person or would like to tutor, please reach out to us. And now I would like to, without further ado, let's get this started and introduce our pronouncer for the evening, the wonderful, comparable Reverend Martha Touchton. Good evening, everybody. It's great to be with you tonight. I'd like to introduce our judges who will be uh, helping with the B tonight. 
First, we have our head judge, Paige Hendrickson, who is a Read to Succeed Council member and also a former B winner. Next, we have Michael Lynn White, City TV personality and also the 2020 B winner. And Matthew Joseph, co-owner of the wonderful Simply Pure Sweets restaurant and the 2019 winner. Spellers, would you welcome our judges, please? Couple of housekeeping notes, please. Be sure to turn, out, turn off your cell phones or turn them to vibrate, everybody that's in the room. Uh, we have a few people here who might clap, but just don't. <laughs> um, spellers, I ask you to move when one person's exiting the microphone, you move right to the microphone so we keep things moving fast. Even though a speller has exited the competition, we would like for you to please remain in the room so we can take some photographs and have a little celebration after the B is over. I'm gonna introduce, invite our spellers to come forward. Well, first let me say what I'm gonna do. I will give you the word. You have the opportunity once I give you your word um, to ask me to repeat it. You can ask me to give the origin of the word. You can ask me to say it in a sentence. Um, I think that's about it. So that's my job. And occasionally I will direct the judges to where we're going in our word list. Um, I'd like the spellers to step up and introduce themselves, and when you do that, I will give you your first word. Yes? Oh, Paige, would you like to read the rules for us? Welcome, everyone. Hope you can hear me. C celebrity Spelling Bee rules. When invited to the stage, each speller takes a seat in the chair corresponding with the number printed, which you have now done. Um, it is conducted in rounds. Spellers are individually called forward in the order they are seated and given a word to spell. If the word is spelled incorrectly, the speller must leave the stage and the next speller is called forward. If all words from a round are misspelled, all participants from that round return to the stage and a new round begins. If, oh, excuse me, when given a word to spell, if it is a speller's responsibility to understand the word. The speller may ask the pronouncer, to say the word again, provide a definition, use the word in a sentence, provide the part of speech, language of origin, or an alternate pronunciation if there is one. The speller may not ask for the root word. The speller does not, <clears throat> excuse me, does not have, have to pronounce the word before spelling, but it is encouraged to do so. Judges listen carefully to the speller's pronunciation and can offer clarification if needed. Spellers will not be asked to spell a previously misspelled word. The final round is a round of one speller. If he or she misspells, the speller who misspelled the previous round returns and a new round begins. This process continues until a single speller round produces a correctly spelled word. Spellers are asked to speak clearly and not to speed through spellings so that judges can make accurate assessments. The judges decide if a word has been spelled correctly. A bell will indicate that a word was spelled correctly. And an incorrect spelling will be corrected by the judges and the speller will exit the stage. Note that this is a change from the past. If there is a rule-based dispute, it must be submitted to the judges prior to the beginning of the next round. Judges will consider the argument and make a final decision. Audience members or others, <laughs> may not assist the speller in any manner. If a speller stops spelling and starts over at the beginning of a word for any reason, no letter can be changed from the original letters spoken aloud. That one gets a little confusing sometimes. <laughs> Lastly, keep in mind that this is all in fun and in the name of a wonderful work that goes on throughout the year with Read to Succeed. We appreciate the bravery and courage of all contestants. Thank you. Spellers, are you ready to begin? Speller number one, will you please come to the microphone and introduce yourself? Good evening, everybody. My name is Delon Eccles. I work for the Rutherford County, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> previous job. I work, <laughs> see, I'm messing up already, Jolene. No, I work for the uh, Smyrna Fire Department, uh, and I look forward to a uh, very exciting spelling bee. Delon, your first word is ladder. 
ladder. L A D D E R. Ladder. I like it. Thank you. <laughs> Speller number two. Hi, I'm James Evans. I work with Rutherford County Schools. James, your first word is correspond. Correspond. C O R R E S P O N D. There was a little delay there. You had to <laughs> <laughs> Number three. I'm Justin Holder with Parks Real Estate. Number three is my son's jersey name. All so right. Hopefully, we'll be lucky. Justin, your first word is escrow. Escrow. E S C R O W. Number four. Good evening. I'm Ishelle Eady, and I'm with the Tennessee College of Applied Technology at Murfreesboro. Ishelle, your first word is college. College. C O L L E G E. College. Speller number five. Hello, my name is Essence Briscoe. I work with Rutherford Works at the Rutherford County Chamber of Commerce. And Eli and Ellie, if you're watching, hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Essence, your first word is marketing. Marketing. M-A-R-K-E-T-I-N-G. Good evening, my name is Lori Cutler and I work for Redstone Federal Credit Union and yes, I'm the only one that got the 70s memo. <laughs> Lori, your first word is finance. Finance, F-I-N-A-N-C-E. Good evening, I'm Frank Caperton. Most people know me as Frank the computer guy or Frank and his camera and this is how we dressed in the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, your first word is camera. Camera, C-A-M-E-R-A, -E camera. Hi, I'm Lisa Trell, I'm with Murphy Sproul City Schools, and hi, Ellie. <laughs> Lisa, your first word is communicate. Communicate, C-O-M-M-U-N-I-C-A-T-E, communicate. <laughs> Speller number nine. Hi, I'm Robin C. with Parks Realty. Robin, your first word is estate. Estate. E-S-T-A-T-E. -E. Speller number one. We're back to you. Beginning round two. Your word is hunt. Hunt. H-U-N-T. Hunt. James, your word is shed. Shed, S-H-E-D. Your word is deep. Deep, D-E-E-P. Your word is gate. Gate, G-A-T-E, gate. Your word is ring. Ring, R-I-N-G. Your word is coin. Coin, C-O-I-N. Your word is show. Show, S-H-O-W. Lisa, your word is coal. Coal. C-O-A-L. Coal. <laughs> Your word is door. Door. D-O-O-R. Beginning round three. Two. Round two. Oh, wait, you <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah I got that word right. <laughs> Delon, your word is garden. Garden, G 
A R D E N. Garden. James, your word is West. West. W E S T. Justin, your word is skim. Skim. S K I M. Your word is bead. Bead. B E A D. Bead. Your word is grins. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Nora grins from ear to ear whenever someone mentions her spelling bee victory. Grins. G R I N S. Laura, your word is bank. Bank. B A N K. Frank, your word is foot. Foot. F O O T. Foot. Lisa, your word is person. Person. P E R S O N. We are moving right along. <laughs> Your word is unkind. Unkind. U N K I N D. New round. <laughs> Your word is bitter. Bitter. B I T T E R. Bitter. <laughs> Your word is missing. Missing, M-I-S-S-I-N-G, missing. Your word is slumber. Slumber, S-L-U-M-B-E-R. Your word is flying. Flying, F-L-Y-I-N-G, flying. Your word is pretend. Pretend. P-R-E-T-N-D. I'm sorry, the correct spelling is P-R-E-T-E-N-D. Oh, okay, got it. <laughs> <laughs> Your word is boxcar. Boxcar. B O X C A R. <laughs> Frank, your word is vanish. Vanish. V A N S I S H. Vanish. I'm sorry, the correct spelling is V A N I S H. Oops. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, your word is return. Return, R-E-T-U-R-N. Your word is hutch. Hutch, H-H-U-T-C-H. -H you get a new round? Your word is blanket. Blanket. B L A N K E T. Blanket. Your word is dither. Dither. D I T H E R. Dither. <clears throat> Your word is wheels. Wheels. W H E E L S. Your word is darling. Darling, D-A-R-L-I-N-G, darling. Laura, your word is platform. Platform, P-L-A-T-F-O-R-M. Lisa, your word is harvest. Harvest. H A R V E S T. And 
And Robin, your word is thrilling. Thrilling. T H R I L L I N G. <laughs> Beginning a new round. <laughs> this spelling bee is thrilling. <laughs> your word is standoff. Standoff. S T A N D O F F. Standoff. We are on page 27, word number 88. Your word is lazily. This might be it, Lisa. <laughs> lazily, L-A-Z-I-L-Y. Okay. Your word is marbles. Marbles, M-A-R-B-L-E-S. <laughs> Your word is shelves. 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 S H E L V E S. Shelves. Your word is crumpled. Crumpled. C R U M P L E D. Your word is perhaps, perhaps, P-E-R-H-A-P-S. That was right. You ran a P-E-R together. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> just, 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 <laughs> I, did, I didn't write them. Just, just remember, don't speed through the words because it's hard to hear sometimes. <laughs> Your word is bicycle. Bicycle. B I C Y C L E. <laughs> Your word is horrid. <laughs> it's just being snarky in my head. Horrid. H O R. R I D horrid. Mr. Evans, your word is faucet. Faucet. F A U C E T. Your word is craggy. Could you use that in a sentence? <laughs> sure. The craggy silhouette of the Rockies took Emmett's breath away. No. Craggy. I don't think that's a real word, but I'll try it. <laughs> Craggy, C-R-A-G-G-Y. There you go. Your word is shilling. Can you use that in a sentence, please? After the British currency system was decimalized in 1971, the shilling became more popular with collectors. Thank you. Shilling, S-H-I-L-L-I-N-G, shilling. Your word is crooked. Crooked, C-R-O-O-K-E-D. Your word is protested. Protested? P R O T E S T E D. Is that slow enough? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I wouldn't take that right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see how it works out. <laughs> Your word is superb. Superb. S U P E R B. I'm going to stay on this page. Number 111. Your word is engraved. Engraved. E N G R A V E D. Engraved. Your word is custody. Custody. C U S T O D Y. Your word is intersect. 
intersect, I-N-T-E-R-S-E-C-T. -E Turning the page. Your word is spinster. Spinster. S-P-I-N-S-T-E-R, spinster. Your word is diagram. Diagram. D-I-A-G-R-A-M. Your word is grocery. Grocery? G-R-O-C-E-R-Y. Your word is valuables. Valuables. V A L. U A B L E S. <clears throat> Bring in a new round. <sighs> Your word is disguise. Disguise. D I S G U I S E. Disguise. Your word is shortage. Shortage, S-H-O-R-T-A-G-E-S. -E oh, I'm sorry, was it not plural? It's not plural. I think that's probably okay. Yeah. I just did a bonus letter, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your word is? <laughs> Your word is handiwork. Handiwork, H-A-N-D-Y-W-O-R-K. I'm sorry, the correct spelling is H-A-N-D-I-W-O-R-K. <laughs> Next speller, thank you, Justin. Your word is altitude. Altitude, A-L-T-I-T-U-D-E, altitude. Your word is testament. Testament, T-E-S-T-A-M-E-N-T. -E -E Your word is disengage. Disengage, D-I-S-E-N-G-A-G-E. -E. Your word is infraction. Infraction, E-N-F-R-A-C-T-I-O-N. -E I'm sorry, the correct spelling is I-N-F-R-A-C-T-I-O-N. Thank you, Robin. Begin a new round. I don't like this. I'm afraid now. Your word is practically. Practically. Could you say the word again, please? Practically. Could you use it in a sentence? Mm -hmm. Just like her favorite movie character, Corey considers herself to be practically perfect in every way. Corey's a little full of herself. Practically, uh, P R A C T I C A L L Y. Practically. Your word is opponent. Opponent, O-P-P-O-N-E-N-T. No S this time, sorry. <laughs> Your word is affirmation. Affirmation, A-F-F-I-R-M-A 
T-I-O-N, affirmation. Your word is correctional. Correctional. C-O-R-R-E-C-T-I-O-N-A-L. Number 152, judges. Your word is grandiose. What? <laughs> grandiose. Grandiose. Hmm. G R A N D I O S E. Yes. <laughs> Your word is dexterity. Dexterity. D E X. T E R I T Y Dexterity. This might be at least I'm just, <laughs> just have a feeling. Your word is barrette. <laughs> I have all boys, that's not fair. <laughs> barrette. Yeah. Uh, barrette. B A R R E T T E. Your word is exasperation. My word is exasperation? Yes. <laughs> Can you repeat the word, please? Ex exasperation. Uh-huh. Thank you. <laughs> E-X. A-S. P E R A T I O N, exasperation. Nice. Your word is reprobate. It's what? Reprobate. I'm a nuisance. Patty will not be going to the sock hop because her parents reprobate dancing. Reprobate. R E P R O. B A T E. <laughs> yes. Lisa, your wait. Pause after this round, please. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Your word is conspiracy. Conspiracy. C O N S P I R A C Y. Your word is chimpanzee. Chimpanzee. C H I M P A N Z E E chimpanzee. How about like dog? Can I mean like dog? <laughs> Your word actually is paralysis. Okay, paralysis. P A R A L Y S I S. Your word is sinewy. <laughs> what? <laughs> sinewy. Uh, would you like me to use it in a sentence? I would love for you to, thank you. The steak was difficult for Brad to cut because it had many sinewy parts. Mm hmm. And that is what form of speech? What? It's an adjective. It's an adjective. It means having lots of tendons. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Can I see? <laughs> um, I've never heard of that in my life. Sinewy. I'm sorry. Yeah, thanks. C-I-N-E-W-Y, sinewy. 
That was an excellent, excellent try. Thank you. With the, the, <laughs> the correct spelling is S I N E W Y. You're kidding me. Yeah. Oh so my goodness. Glam. Thank you. So you. Great job. <laughs> Your word is boisterously. That's a long word. It is. We're to the long words now. Boisterously. B O I S T E R. O U S L Y. Lisa, your word is incessant. Incessant. I N C E S S A N T. We get a new round. Does anybody else feel like they're in the Hunger Games right now? <laughs> Everybody's on the chopping block. Your word is. Truculently. Oh, see. Okay. <clears throat> Can you use it in a sentence? Sure. The queen laughed truculently after ordering that the prisoner be sentenced to death. Okay. Um, can I get a definition, please? In a cruel or fierce manner. Is there an alternate uh, pronunciation? There is no alternate pronunciation. What well, could you say one more time, please? Truculently. I'm gonna say it one more time. Truculently. Here we go. T R U C A N. T R U C mm. T R U C U L A N T L Y Since mm -hmm. you started. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> the correct spelling is T R U C U L E N T L Y. Sweet. Yeah. Thank you. Your word is fluorescent. Fluorescent. F L O U R E S C E N T. There's no bell. I can say it again if I need. You switched two letters, sorry. Okay. The correct spelling is F L U O R E S C E N T. Yeah, I said O U. You're right. All right, Lisa, you win. I mean, I can make this real easy. Please. Don't go far. Yes. I can make this real easy. I just go. I just leave. Your word is ricochet. We're good. Ricochet? Ricochet. I know what it means, but I can't spell it. R I C O C H E T. Holy. <laughs> Your word is entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs? Entrepreneurs. James is going E N T R E P R E N E U R S. Yeah. Bye bye, James. Round. Hashtag beat James. <laughs> uh, would we like to invite the two spellers to come forward? Yes, if y'all would not mind just moving up to this next row. Oh, no, we like Patrick. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We do mind. Oh, no. We do mind. Okay. <laughs> we do. We do. We're going to stay. I right. respect that. 
Lori, your word is anecdote. Anecdote. Only because I need time. Can you say that in a sentence? Mm -hmm. The speaker's presentation ended with a touching anecdote. A N E C D O T E. Your word is malign. Malign? Mm hmm. Can you give me a definition? To utter injurious, injuriously misleading or deliberately and damaging false reports about someone. Is there an alternate spelling or alternate pronunciation? There is no alternate pronunciation. M-A-I-L-I-G-N. I'm sorry, the correct spelling is M-A-L-I-G-N. That's what I thought! No. <laughs> okay. You get to go. You get the last word. But you need to okay. stay. Yeah, Lisa, Lisa, you need to stay. Though we are in the game. You want to hold my hand? Yes. Yes. Go for it. You got it. Your word is mandible. Mandible. Can you use that in a sentence? Yes. Most insects use the mandible for crushing their food. That means their jaw. M-A-N-D-I-B-L-E. Yay! Oh, what a great group of spellers. I'm so excited. Give yourselves a hand. Yay! They are all already winners because they do such great things in our community, but tonight, to me, they're all winners because they helped us get so close to our goal, and it's not over yet, so we appreciate you all, and we have some prizes to give out, so um, the prize for most individual sponsors, donors, goes to the most wonderful Ishelle Eady. She's also my neighbor, and I tackled her at the <laughs> mailbox to spell for us. So TCAT is so proud of you, and we, we thank you for all you did. Thank you. Thank you. Most money's raised. <laughs> Hashtag beat James Evans. Lisa Trail. <laughs> Lisa, Lisa Trail raised $1,278.62. Thank you. I'm, I've got a hugger because... I tackled her as well, so <laughs> at a school board meeting, so. And of course, our wonderful speller, who told me that she could only do financial stuff and anything to do with money and math, but nothing to do with spelling. And our 2021 Funkadelic <laughs> Celebrity B winner is Miss Lori Cutler. Thank you. And yes, I told all of them if they would have dressed up, they would have tied me for first place. So next year. That's what held us back. Yeah. Any, yeah. Any, yeah. any words of advice for anyone? No, it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's just hard. And it's okay to be hard. And it's okay to be nervous because you know what? I think we all get complacent in our lives and in our careers. And we do what we do so well. And then they stick you in this. <laughs> and you realize how hard doing something different can be. But do it anyway. And her exact words were, when we did a pre-B meeting, she said, it's because she wouldn't stop asking me every year. <laughs> so now I can move on to somebody else. So. <laughs> But we appreciate you all. You did a great job in the name of literacy. Thank you all for watching tonight. And remember, reading is succeeding. So go read a book and relax. Good night, everyone.